welcome to another video this is going to be a voiceover video because i recorded a video about two days ago on thursday today is saturday and the com the video was completely out of focus and my ocd would not allow me to post that video but what i had to say was very important i feel like and um so i'm gonna just incorporate the audio from that video but it's gonna be uh over my voice is gonna be over this video which is me getting ready i already recorded of course i have to work in a little bit so i just recorded myself doing my makeup doing like my quick work makeup that i do every day before work or whenever i just want to wear makeup no big deal um but yeah i hope that you enjoy the video and that you get something from it it's it's very i feel like it's a right now word and it gets me so excited like thinking back on it because again i recorded it on thursday and friday yesterday god dropped something in my spirit that was like triple confirmation that this is a very if you let it a very strategic season for a lot of us and if we use our time wisely our free time wisely the time that we've been given some of us are getting paid to be off of work some of us still have to work remotely from home but you're in the comfort of your home um, some of us still have to go to work like me um, but was blessed with the raise um while working through these very like troubling times and very uneasy times so we've all been given something great in this season this is spring you know and i'll talk about that in the video more but um yeah i'm just really excited about what is going to happen in this spring season and what god is birthing in us what seeds that he's planting the ideas that he has inside of us that are going to come out if we let it if we allow ourselves to be stretched to grow to be moved out of our comfort zones if we allow god to work in us through this season amazing things are going to happen and so um i'm excited like even going into work today like earlier this week I've been thinking about like how we weren't trained in some of these essential businesses to handle a pandemic and to handle all of the commotion, the anxiety that we feel and see on the faces of others. Like we're not trained for that. We're trained on guest service. We're trained on customer service. We're trained on how to sell how to you know like build upon a purchase like we're not trained to be there emotionally for a guest not only be there emotionally for them but hold us down emotionally while we're trying to be there like a lot of us are working long days all right we're leaving work late we're going in early and we don't have time to mentally prepare and we were not trained for this. And so it's just, you know, making me feel like there's a reason why we're going through this. Like it's all for a purpose and um, I'm excited. And another thing that I didn't touch on in the video that you'll hear um, is I feel like this season is bringing out a lot of insecurities is bringing out um sorry about the music in the background um is bringing out um a lot of our privileges because a lot of us are used to life in one way and we get a little bit of uneasiness and we're ready to like go crazy but not to say that I've been through some real stuff, but I've been through the struggle. I've started from the ground up living here um, and really building a life. Of course, with the support of many, many people that I love so dearly, but still, you know, starting fresh, 
So I've dealt with adversity, I've dealt with uncomfortableness, I've dealt with low income, I've dealt with nothing into something. And it's not really moving me in that way, but I see in the lives of others how it is bothersome to them. And that's fine, like, not to cancel out anyone's feelings, but it just goes to show you that you can have a life that is perfect, that everything is going well, um, but it can all go away in a drop of a dime. It literally, a week ago, a week ago, this is when I started, but a few days, like a, a day before a week ago, we didn't have all this craziness going on. So it just shows you that anything can happen. Um, be ready. Don't be too comfortable. Um, don't get cocky. Don't get prideful, but always have a grateful heart and be thankful for where you are in life. Um, but yeah like i'm excited like there's just so much that's happening that like in a few days that has got me super super hyped that um i'm happy so please um listen to the video watch me do my makeup it's i guess it's better than looking at me talk at least you're not you're gonna be entertained while listening but yeah um i actually have a podcast it's called empty your heart and i have it with my friend and um I'm thinking about doing some episodes like alone just speaking from my heart because I have a lot to say and I want to say it now like I don't want to wait like it's just showing me that whatever I have to do I have to do it now and I can't wait anymore so yeah I may be doing some more some episodes alone um and yeah so stay tuned thank you for watching again and be working less i'm never not in my mold they ain't hating less why should i turn it down hi guys and welcome back to another video so i'm gonna try to make this super quick but it's funny because this video came this idea came yesterday out of anger and i was gonna name it the virus but like use it figuratively like how people are actually the virus and how they are harming themselves and maybe harming others just by their actions, their words, or and so forth, and comparing it to the coronavirus. But today, I woke up with, and this hasn't just happened today, but today I had an exceptional, exceptional amount of peace and joy and it's been trying to come out but because I am forced to be amongst a lot of people every day at work anger wants to like override that joy and today was my first off day since the whole situation went down and it went crazy and today was the first day I didn't have to come in contact with anyone and so it was the first day that I can truly let that joy come out. And when I did, I realized what God was trying to tell me. And so it's not going to be that negative tone that I was wanting it to be yesterday. It's going to more so be from a place of gratitude and hope and encouragement because I don't know why and I don't need a reason why quite frankly because I serve God and he's amazing he's good all the time he causes everything to happen for our good so I don't really need a reason why to feel the way that I feel but I just wanted to talk about it and encourage other people who may be feeling similar to how I'm feeling so basically um, I work at a place that they would consider an essential business and um, so that means that I feel like I'm on the front line. You know, nurses and doctors and first responders feel that and I feel like they are really on the front line. But 
where I work, I provide the essentials for people. So they're coming to get food, they're coming to get medicine, they're coming to get toilet tissue, which I'm still not understanding why. Um, but yeah, I'm faced, I'm faced with those people every day. They have so much anxiety, they have so much worry, fear on their face, just their vibes, like you can feel their energy and it's very mentally draining. Because if I'm providing customer service, I always have to go above whoever I'm coming in contact with. Meaning, I assume that most people are not going to be happy when I'm customer servicing them. That's just the reality of it. They're not going to... Um, be like giddy and happy like they're coming to get what they want and they're ready to go so knowing that and dealing with people who have this bad energy and negative energy because they're afraid which nothing against them for being afraid like that's totally understandable um but to try to keep this poker face trying to keep your attitude good at a good place try not to go off on people try not to you know kind of put people in their place and kind of make them realize like look we're all going through the same thing you're not the only ones like just because we are working and we're providing service for you does not mean that we are not feeling this too and so dealing with that every day um and dealing with those people it's kind of like overwhelming and i don't even have time to be fearful of the coronavirus because mentally I'm drained from dealing with people who lack compassion, who lack just every little bit of common sense you think that everyone should have. It's really a struggle to show up every day and provide A1 service for people who don't really, they're just selfish and they're in for it. In, in it for themselves and so and that's why i wanted it to be kind of like a negative tone because i was fed up like it just got to a point where i wasn't giving good customer service like i did the minimum like i usually will you know, try to say a, a lighthearted joke to put a smile on her face or make a comment to make every transaction personal. But I honestly didn't care because I was drained. Um, and so, um, not only that, but also because since I work in a business that is, is viewed as essential, um, there's a lot of other businesses that are closed down and um, the, the workers are allowed to go home. A lot of people are allowed to go home with pay. They don't have to you know, worry about being out in public, um, contracting this virus or anything like that. But all I see on social media is people complaining. I see people complaining about having to be home. What are they gonna do? Oh my gosh, I'm so bored. And I'm just looking like that is so ungrateful. And that may be a harsh word, but these are my pure feelings or were my pure feelings before today. But I felt like people were being ungrateful because this can be very, like this can be a very inspiring time in our lives. This can be a turning point for a lot of people. A lot of people have been asking for time to be able to give into like their craft or dedicate to their craft. People have been asking for staycations, paying, being paid to just stay home. People have been asking for these things and they're giving this opportunity even though 
it is from something bad, which is the virus. But when you find good in every situation, you will realize that there's a blessing in everything. And I feel like everyone was misinterpreting this time. And it made me angry because I have to go to work every day. I have a high possibility of getting you know this virus because I am in contact with a lot of people every day I interact with a lot of different people every day no no one knows like there's nothing on top of their head that says I'm infected I'm healthy I'm whole I don't know who I'm coming in contact with but at any given moment that can be that one interaction that could make me ill and it's like dude realize your blessing and be quiet and make the most of your situation because there are people who have to go to work who are in a, in a field of, or an industry where their businesses are needed still and they have to show up and they have to show up with a smile on their face because they have people coming up to them who are stressed who have anxiety who are fearful and we have to be that beacon of light for them and it's you're sitting at home complaining I'm just like do do you not realize how blessed you are and with all those feelings at the same time I could be being selfish and not considering the feelings of others and that is what I'm asking from other people and talking to a friend today I, I realized that I haven't considered all industries like I have a friend who works in a financial industry banks are not closing people need money every day they still have to deal with people who are fearful about their 401k plans and their your accounts their stocks um, all that there are people who have to show up and not make their clients feel like oh this is it like say goodbye to all your money there's everyone is dealing with something in this time and i feel like if we just take a step back and realize that we're all human and that we're all dealing with this situation in our own way it'll be easier for us to move forward and if we stick together meaning not if you can't lend a helping hand that's fine but you can have a positive attitude when you're interacting with someone who's helping you. You can be calm, you can be understanding when something's out of stock and that it's not because we don't want to provide for you, it's because there is a lack at the moment. And it just made me just take a step back and realize like, we have to do better as people and things times like this just brings out the ugly and um it's just not cool and that's why the tone of this video was going to be very negative but i'm so glad that i had the opportunity to allow the joy of god to really come through so basically i made a post about this on instagram and facebook and i'll show it in this video for people who don't have me on there but um basically again this little bit of joy has been trying to come out but i couldn't allow it to come out because of what i was dealing with every day at work and so today um i woke up and i saw on instagram that it was the first day of spring and i was like oh wow so i was like let me post something to my clothing lines um, Instagram to celebrate the first day of spring and then I was led to look at um, I forgot the I'm like there's a meaning went. today's the first day of spring so like, basically what? I was led to look so at the definition of spring. spring and spring as a verb means move or jump suddenly or rapidly upward or forward the second definition is to originate or arise from. As a noun, spring is the season after winter and before summer in which vegetation begins to appear in the northern hemisphere from March to May and in the southern hemisphere 
from September to November. The second definition, which had me shook, was a resilient device, typically a helical, I'll post that word, metal coil that can be pressed or pull, pulled, but returned to its former shape when released, used chiefly to exert constant tension or absorb movement. When I read that, I was just like, something just in my stomach, just like, whoa. Something that can be pressed or pulled, but it returns to its former shape when it's released. And I feel like right now, a lot of people are being pulled, stressed, everything in this time. And is some people are allowing themselves to really get bent out of shape where they won't be able to go back into its right form or their old form. Think about a slinky, right? That's a spring. When we were kids and we played with slinkies. If we did too much tangling, then it was it was over with. There was no way to save that slinky. It was just done for. But when we play with it the right way, when we knew that when we stretched it out, it'll go back to its original form, that we had peace with playing with it because we knew that it'll be like, it'll go back to the way that it was. And I feel like that's what's happening now. Like you have to go through the motions of this. Like nothing in life is gonna be perfect. Nothing is gonna always go your way. There's gonna be things that come. There's a lot of things that people have dealt with that is way worse than the coronavirus or maybe possibly getting the virus or getting infected. There are so many things that people went through that are way worse than this. And you just have to realize that things are going to happen. You're going to get bent out of shape. You're going to get stretched. You're going to get worn out. But you have to know that at the right time, everything will go back into its original place. And you will leave that experience feeling more encouraged, more faith-filled, and more inspired to continue. Because you know that no matter what's going to happen, no matter what happens, then everything will go fine and that everything will be okay and I'm just so encouraged because I really honestly feel like this is a strategic season for a lot of us and a lot of us me has been waiting for God to really do a new thing in our lives and to really you know do the things that he said he would that he said he was going to do over our lives the things that he was going to use us for I'm waiting and I really feel like spring is a time where everything is kind of just forming you in the spring new things emerge if you let it like this is the season where things can really be birthed if you let it and i'm just encouraged and inspired for what's to come um i talk about a little bit that my birthday is a significant number not just because it's my birthday but because i literally see this number everywhere and I'm gonna do a video I keep saying this but a video about it where I literally every time I see it I take a picture and I'm gonna literally show how many times I see it my birthday is June 12th which is right before summer it's like a week or two before summer and I have a huge expectancy in my heart that something big is gonna happen for me and I want you guys to be encouraged and to expect something big from this moment and don't be moved too much go through it feel it but don't let it you knock you off knock you totally off your course and so yeah i'm just happy that god allowed me to feel and have all those emotions and then come to a place of peace and joy so that i can really tell people what god wants them to know and not just, you know, be negative and hateful. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about what's to come. And I hope that you got something from this. And yeah, just stay encouraged and everything will be okay. Just trust him. No matter what you see in the flesh, no matter what you see with your physical eyes, that's not faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. If you can see it, you're not believing hard enough. God wants to do a new 
thing in your life, a new thing that you have never seen. You have to allow him, you have to activate your faith in this season, and you have to keep pushing forward. Look at the definition of spring, post it, be encouraged by it, because that those definitions were perfect for this season. And God knew what he was doing. Having this happen right before spring, right when everyone, you know, spring cleaning, like clean out all those bad things out of your system, out of your life, and move forward and be ready for something new. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you got something from that. And I hope that you're ready to use your time wisely. I hope that you're ready for God to use you. If you don't know what that means or if you're unfamiliar, please send me a message. I would definitely love to talk with you more so you can figure out how you can be used by God and how you can use your time wisely. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a great day and be intentional. Bye.